My name is Taki Soma. You might know me from color work uh, such as Murder Inc. and Dick Tracy. I've also written things uh, uh, from Rapture, Synergy, and you might know my art from Ironheart or maybe Bitch Planet. And I'm here with a new book called Sleeping While Standing. Sleeping While Standing is about my life. It's, uh, it covers everything from immigration, being an artist, murder, suicide, having multiple sclerosis, and so many more. Sleeping While Standing is an important um, chapter in my life, not just because it's uh, an autobiography, but because this is where I got to do everything from writing to art to even lettering, which was a first for me. So I feel like this is a compilation of me all together. So I hope you enjoy Sleeping While Standing. Hello, I'm Claire Scully and I'm an illustrator currently working on a book called The Outer Wilderness for Avery Hill. It's the third instalment in the Wilderness series, which started with The Internal Wilderness, now out of print, but available as a digital download, um, followed by Desolation Wilderness. And The Outer Wilderness will be a more galactic journey through time and space. Each book works as a standalone publication, but also works as part of a collection. They've each followed their own distinct colour palette, and in the Outer Wilderness, I will be playing with a more technicolour approach to the series. The books themselves feel quite special, printed on a lovely paper stock, which has a really tactile quality. Along with their pocket size format, I think it really works to form that intimate experience you can get when connecting with a visual world. The Outer Wilderness will be reaching out to the more unknown or projected interpretations of possible worlds in the microcosm of the universe, which is inspired by both science fiction and fact. Um, I've been exploring these landscapes in an altogether more otherworldly way. I've always been curious about what happens beyond the confines of a page, but in this book I'm looking out from the confines of our reality, past the boundaries of the known universe and into a much more speculative territory. Referencing how other worlds have been visualised in the past, like old B-movies of Martian landscapes, you know how they would start with an earthly familiarity but play with scale, colour and form to bring in elements into a much more fantastical realm. So there's a sense of fun that needs to be enjoyed when looking at these images. I think the landscapes in the outer wilderness will feel playfully hazardous and there will definitely be a sense of trepidatious danger with some of the alien plant life and organic material, um, giving you the impression that pretty much everything in space probably wants to eat you um, and these places will be an intriguing albeit fictitious look at distant planets. When I'm drawing them out sometimes I create little explanations for what is in each scene. I might give myself a little warning to be careful when swimming in this particular lagoon though its waters have near miraculous healing properties you might not survive an encounter with the creatures that lay beneath. Or maybe there's the creeping grab vines of the violet plains. They'll see you coming, and though fatally toxic, they can be very delicious if prepared in exactly the right way. So in my mind, I'm during the creative process, I'm creating a bit of a user guide um, for exploring these distant planets, a bit like a scientist on an expedition. So yeah, I hope when it's all put together, this will be a really fun book. 
to escape to and for the viewer to create their own interpretations of what dangers may lurk beneath the surface. Drive. We are looking forward to working with you. Well, 